Hello YouTube, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can jailbreak your iPod Touch first generation um, 2.2 firmware. Um, so you don't need iTunes, I just showed that. Um, first you have to download QuickPwn, um, I'll give you a link in the, um, in the description. Um, and it's perfectly okay, I've virus scanned it and it's fine, so just download that. And once you connect your iPod Touch to your computer, um, it's really easy. You just have to follow the steps. So you just continue, select iPod Touch. Um, it'll always have this stuff down here. Um, down here it's loading. So we just have to wait. So it's found it. And um, here you want to add Cydia and you want to add Staller. Um, but right here, it's basically just changed the load up apple symbol when you s start up your iPod Touch, uh, with a pineapple. It's kind of pointless, but it's pretty cool, so I like to have that, but it doesn't really change anything. So, after that, you just click next. Um, it'll just say, make sure you have your USB connected, and... So, now, you have to follow the steps. You hold the pull button down. These are really easy steps. You just have to. Oh, this one's a long one. You have to hold the home button. The home button's the center, and the power button's up at the top. And you just have to hold that for like 30 seconds. Um, the screen will turn white, um, that's part of it. This is my second time jailbreaking because I wanted to update it, so I'm just doing it again. Um, you'll get this screen right here. This is fine, this is part of it. Um, the jailbreaking, this is the status right here. This will take, uh, I'm not sure how long, but it'll take a few minutes. So, yeah, I'm not going to make you sit through this. So. Once this is done, your iPod should be jailbroken. Um, you go to Cydia, and you can install, like, different themes and different sounds and cool lock screens and stuff. Um, I usually, I just use Winterboard, which is what they install to. So once it's done, you just click Winterboard, and, um, and then, like, it'll have all the stuff you download from Cydia. Installer basically is the same thing, except it has different programs. I don't, I don't understand why they just don't put it all in one, but, uh, but, and then you just go to Winterboard, and then it'll have all the things you download it. Um, when you go to download something in Cydia, if it doesn't say it's, it's, like, for Winterboard, I, it's probably, it's probably not going to be for Winterboard, it's a different program. I'm not 100% sure how to get the other program, but you can watch some more YouTube videos, and maybe they'll help you, but... Um, yep, so it's just about done. Jailbreaking. And, um, if you, if you want to take your jailbreak off, um, all you have to do is, like, just click the restore button on iTunes when you plug in your iPod. Um, you're probably going to get a pop-up when you plug it into iTunes that says, like, um, like, there's a problem with your iPod, please restore it or please update and stuff. It's going to take all your apps off when it does that, but when you jailbreak it, none of your apps go away, um, and you'll have all your music and all your videos and your photos and stuff. Um, it won't affect any of that, it just messes it all up. Um, so, it's just installing this on here. Um, this takes a while, so I won't make you sit through this, but anyway, so yeah, I hope this helped, and uh, post a comment if you have any troubles uh, jailbreaking your iPod, and I'll put a reply comment to help you out. Hope this helps. Bye.